The NEC soccer title is on the line this afternoon as the Long Island Sharks return home to take on the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers. Here's Yaska Lyon. He's been getting involved last 10 minutes or so after a very quiet start. Fantastic ball. Who's going to get to it first? Sends Fall on his way. Fall onside. Fall fires into the back of the net. It's LIU who strikes first in the final. Long ball looking for Yusufi. They found him on the sideline. Can he get a step? To the post, and it is in! The equalizer from Tavuskovic. That's what they've been looking for, and that's what St. Francis, New York needed. He froze the defender, froze everyone on the LIU back line. And we have a tie here, folks. This match is going to pick up. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like. Service comes across. And on the far post, nice and clever stepping in. Off the thigh. Tapuskovic scored the lone goal for St. Francis Brooklyn. Ten seconds. And that might just about do it. And that does it for regulation. 90 minutes in the books. It's St. Francis Brooklyn one and LIU one. MRI is back. One of two who may take this free kick. Let's see what happens here. This is dangerous, Austin. The feed inside. It's a shot on target. Skumbakis there. No problem for him. And that'll probably do it for the half. The first overtime Ten, period. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, one overtime period in the books. St. Francis, overtime. Brooklyn won. LIU won. And a second 10 minute overtime period will be coming your way. Looks like we have overtime, folks. Our penalty kicks. 10, Ten penalty seconds kicks. to go. Eight, Two seven, overtimes in the books. Five, four, three. Ten, We've played 110 eight, minutes eight, of soccer eight, here at LIU Soccer Park. And it's not enough to declare an NEC champion. So we go to penalty kicks. And St. Francis' head coach, Tom Giovanni, just taking a seat. It's Highland who steps up and finishes. Tapuskovic, the Serbian. Looking to get the tying goal. In penalty kicks in the NEC Championship. And he does just that in the bottom of the first. He matches Ravon Tapuskovic, the second shooter for LIU, finished by Javier Rayberger. And this time, Abdella gets the finish. It's Anberg looking to give the Sharks the advantage, 3-2, hesitates and puts it in the back of the net. Bottom of the third, a little surprised they didn't keep him for bottom of the fourth or fifth, but they want to get him up there quickly. Yusufi shooting, and he beats Stumbakis. And how about that? How about that for A character. little bit of a hug. A little hug and appreciation and, for yeah. you guys. And Martinez with the goal and his traditional quiet celebration. Ronde Rojas did not have any points during the regular season. But can come up with a critical penalty here. Steps into this one and easily finishes. Kumbakis again guessing the wrong way. Yaska Linen. The hesitation move right down the middle. That's the one we were talking about, Austin. 
keeper moves. He hesitates a bit and just inside the foot gets it right in. Diallo fires off the post and in. Oh my. And the answer, Michael Malika, the sophomore midfielder, comes through and LIU back up by one. You have players with a lot of confidence <laughs> that are burying shots against two top goalkeepers, Austin. Well, going back to Friday night, it was 9 out of 10. Penalty kicks were good. So far this afternoon, 11 out of 11. Nobody's been able to make a stop. Sumbakis thought he had one, but it was called back. A shot, and it's stopped. Sumbakis has done it. And LIU are the NEC champs. What an outstanding year it has been for Skumbakis. And he is standing by with TJ Kostecki. We are here with Dimitri, the winning goalkeeper from LIU, who just saved the last penalty kick to carry them into the NCAA tournament. How do you feel, Dimitri? I feel great. I feel I own this to my team. Since last season, I missed a penalty and I let him down. I promised it and I kept my promise. I feel so happy, but jump, job is not finished. We go against double A's and we want to annoy the big teams. We want to annoy the big schools. That's our goal. You've had a tremendous season. We did, we did. All right. Working all year to earn this place to play on your grass field and doing it in front of your fans, how does that feel? From the beginning of the season, coach told us that our goal is to host the tournament. And we did it. And then our second goal was to win a tournament first time in three years in penalties. So that's a great event since last year with Brooklyn. And we all feel great. We all feel happy, but tomorrow is a new day and we go on Thursday. That's how we do it. LIU ha has a legacy. We've been in the finals for many, many years. Yes, you we know did. that. And you continue to, to carry that. And I'm, I'm pleased that I had a little bit of part of seeing you in Greece and that you came over and you helped coach Mike and the team win this championship. Congratulations. Thank you. Wish you the best in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you so much. Back to you, Austin. Dimitri Skumbakis, the goalkeeper of the year, and he's got a real shot at being the player of the tournament here. Had a shutout against Bryant, made a big time stop in penalty kicks, allowed just one goal here in the championship against St. Francis, Brooklyn. And sealed the deal with the win. And the stop in the bottom of the sixth on penalty kicks. This LIU program led by Michael Meldaco, Mordaco has done it again. They got to the championship a year ago and he has coached his team to another NEC tournament championship. And TJ Kostecki is, on, is standing by with coach Michael, Michael Mordaco. I'm here with Coach Mike, the winning coach from LIU, the Northeast Conference Championship game. What a match, Mike. What a season you had coming here, winning regular season and hosting. And how do you feel right now after this match? Yeah, listen, this, this feels really good. I put in a lot of work. My guys have put in a lot of work. My staff has put in a lot of work. And it finally feels like we accomplished something. Um, our goal was to host and then win it this year at home. And the crowd was incredible. Great fans, great atmosphere. My guys fought. We went down a man. I don't even know what minute it was, but we were down a man for at least uh, 35 plus overtime. And uh, our guys just dug in and dug in and fought and scrapped. We had a couple good chances though, didn't we? Um, even a man down. But this certainly feels really good and I'm happy for my guys. I'm happy for all the staff here at LIU, Brooklyn, Post, anyone affected by the whole merger, this is for you guys, um, for you. Mike, so proud of you, so excited. You worked to earn this place for you to train here, to play here, to host here, to come here, and Dimitri to make the save yeah. at the end. Talk about 
rewriting a script and writing a fairy tale script. That's what you did. Well, listen, we've three years in a row, we've been to the finals and, and penalties all three years. It was just our turn this year. You know, Tommy's a great coach. He's a great friend. Yes, he they is. They were very, very good. Um, we just battled to get the penalties, and I just had a feeling my guys had the confidence, and we had the goalkeeper to get us the victory today. You did. I'm uh, happy for you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your team as a former LAU coach. I'm feeling a little brighter as well. I appreciate it, and thanks for everything. Thank you. Good luck in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. We're back to you, my friend.